Velma Carter considers herself a fortunate homeless person since she lives in this RV and not on the sidewalk. It's my one bedroom apartment that just happens to have wheels on it. Last week, Portland City Council passed a ban on camping on public property between the hours of 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. Many of those discussions focused on tents blocking sidewalks and businesses, but RVs are also included. Homeless people like Velma didn't know that. I'm terrified of it. If they're going to be banning that, how soon will they ban RVs? Yeah, so RVs are included in this ban. Oh boy, not what I've been reading. Oh boy. They're telling us to literally just disappear. There's nowhere to disappear to. For people like Velma and Zena, who use their RV as a campsite, under this new ordinance, they have to follow the city's general parking rules between the hours of 8 a.m. and 8 p.m., which means they have to be lawfully parked, which is almost impossible for them to do, given the state of their RV. I can't lawfully park this thing at all. Its VIN number doesn't exist in a DMV database. I can't register it. No matter what, it's an abandoned vehicle because it's a ghost rig that's been jimmy rigged and parted together too much. Now she's left to move her makeshift rig during the day, which she says takes time away from getting back on her feet. That's job hunting time. How am I going to be job hunting with a house on my back? <laughs> we keep the doors locked, you saw. Every single day, we for years, we've never unlocked the doors. Brianna Setoff works at a nearby hair salon, surrounded by tents and RVs. I've called 311 a bunch of times just to have it cleaned up. She often feels unsafe at work, but isn't confident that this camping ban will change that. If we're not going to implement services, mental health, anything, I think it's ridiculous. Instead of telling us we can't do this, we can't do that, we can't do this, we can't do that, tell us what we can do. The city says they can go into available shelter. I have tried shelters before in the past. I've gone through TPI. Um, a lot of the shelters, like right now with my animals, it's really difficult to do. And then there are places like here, out on Northeast 33rd Drive, lined with dozens of campers and RVs, each considered a campsite. Now, many of them don't run and have been sitting out here for years. So how or will they be moved every day from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m.? That part is still unclear. Blair Best, KGW News.